Hello and warm greetings. Time to pursue the English news. At least 19 militants were killed and at least eight others were wounded during the air strike conducted in western Farah province of Afghanistan. The two of first Zafar Corps of Afghan military in the west say the strike were carried out on Thursday in the vicinity of Perchaman district. The source for the added that the air strike targeted two compounds of the militants in Rabat Payan and Khosorkh areas, leaving at least 19 dead and 8 others wounded. According to the corps of Zafa, the two compounds of the militants were destroyed during the air strike, along with the three vehicles. The anti government or militant groups, including the Taliban militants, have not commented regarding the report so far. Farah is among the relatively calm provinces in west of Afghanistan, where fewer security related incidents have taken place since the fall of the Taliban regime. The Special Operations Force of Afghan National Army reacted as a number of irresponsible armed men attempted to attack the air base and army compound in Faria province. The two nine Shahin Corps of Afghan military in North say the Afghan Special Operations Force conducted a night raid on the gatherings of the irresponsible armed men in Faria province based on the intelligence tip off. A statement by Shahin Corps say the irresponsible armed men had carried out a number of attacks on army plants and were looking to storm the air base in army compound. In a Pakistani court convicted the country's former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and sentenced him to 10 years in prison over corruption, Associated Press reported. At his first verdict against Sharif faced a string of trials in Pakistan since he was ousted from office by the Supreme Court last year. Sharif's daughter, Mariam Nawaz, was sentenced to seven years in a case stemming from documents leaked from a Panama law film while her husband, Mohammad Saftar, got a year sentence for giving false information to investigators. Friday's rulings can be appealed. Sharif, who is in London, was sentenced in absentia. The court says he and his family had failed to disclose the source of funds used to purchase luxurious London properties and had not reported them to tax authorities. There was a brief good night. Bye.